One of the best parts of holiday season every year is to get brand new Christmas movies and I think I might have just found a new one to add to my favorites. This is my review of Silent Night. We follow a family of five, a mother, a father and three boys who welcome in friends for what promises to be a perfect Christmas gathering. There's only one thing that might ruin proceedings and that's the fact that everyone is going to die and that's all I'm going to say. But before I properly start with my review for Silent Night, I want you to let me know your thoughts on it, if you've seen it, if you're excited, what are your five favorite Christmas movies that you watch every year? Whether you have five, ten, three, just drop them down there, anything and everything, just start the conversation down in the comments. Because if you like movies and TV, this is the place to be, so make sure to click that subscribe button so you do not miss any future conversation on your favorite movies and TV. I walked into this film completely blind. All I knew was that it was a dark comedy of some sort and it was set during Christmas. And it has a stellar cast that do a stellar job with this material. This is a sharp-witted, smart and layered story that does an incredible job at balancing itself in this tonal tightrope of comedy and earnest drama and tension. Tension that is fueled throughout the film because from the beginning you can see all the cliched and typical Christmas tropes when it comes to films but something feels slightly off. It just feels like every one of these people is hiding something. They have something to say but they're not quite saying it. It just becomes hysterical seeing these characters trying to have a normal Christmas but something is boiling just below the surface. They're bursting to get something out, but they just can't because they know the situation is not appropriate. They don't want to ruin Christmas for everyone. And I think that's just the most Christmassy thing ever, where you just want to spend a wonderful, wholesome evening with your friends and family and no dirty laundry should come out, then nothing bad should be aired but sometimes it's needed and I think this film has a really good notion of how cynical the supposedly perfect Christmas for everyone really is. And what this film does in terms of tone whiplashing back and forth like it's playing a tennis match with itself between comedy and drama, poking fun at itself at Christmas and at Christmas trope with all these outrageous conversations throughout the film is really ingenious and I think director and writer Camilla Griffin does a wonderful job. The cast itself does a wonderful job at playing with all these nuances where they're all having fun and spending a wonderful time together but they just have all this tension brewing in between them. From Kira Knightley to Roman Griffin Davis, Annabelle Wallace, Lily Rose Depp, Kirby Howell Batiste, Chope de Risu, Lucy Punch and Matthew Good. This film is a great reminder of how we do not get enough of Matthew Good because this guy is seriously, well, his last name. And the film broadens its scope as it gets into an ethical situation that very much resembles something that is going on in the real world. That's all I say, but it has smart, interesting, intense and even intriguing discussions about the topic from beginning to end, where you have all these ideas balancing back and forth between characters and it just makes proceedings interesting, but I cannot oversell enough how actually funny the film is. It has this punchy, sharp, sardonic sense of humor that's so British and so welcoming to me. I love British sense of humor and this film it's just mwah, a chef's kiss of it all from beginning to end. There are drawbacks however to a film like this where all these discussions are interesting and intriguing to have in a film such as this and again that tonal balancing act for 90 minutes straight is a real challenge and I think for the most part director Camilla Griffin does a wonderful job at it but it comes to a point where I really didn't find myself rooting for any character everyone is of such strong opinions and such strong beliefs and they have rash 
acts throughout this film where they explode at one another sometimes in just a file we so but then it can lack some resolution to those emotional outbursts and i don't think we exactly got a good payoff for each of these relationships that were built up throughout the film i also think the very ending while i understand what the director is going for to me it really didn't work it's something that needed an explanation it's something that needed something else and just dropping it like that and cutting the film off where they did feels easy it feels like they're avoiding answering certain questions so i thought the film really works for the most part but it really left me with a sour note silent night is an uber bleak dark comedy about hopelessness that has such outrageous depressing and highly emotional characters it's hard not to find yourself invested it doesn't quite stick the landing it doesn't quite have answers for all the questions it raises up but for a directorial debut the tonality in this film is all in itself an impressive achievement. I'm giving Silent Night a B. And so those are my thoughts on Silent Night, but I want to know your thoughts on it. If you've seen it, if you're excited for it, what is your favorite dark comedy, whether it's on Christmas or not, anything and everything, just drop it down there. And if you enjoyed what you saw here, make sure to click that subscribe button because if you enjoy movies and TV, this is the place to be. And I hope to see you in all these future reviews I have coming up. And I have many other reviews already on the channel, so stop by those and check those out. Till the next one, love each other and love the movies.